been like for you so far? Oh, sorry, Connor. What was that? You went from being out of the rotation to being a key part of the rotation within this series. So what's that been like for you? No, uh, you're never out of rotation with uh, with Steve. Um, I know they have different game plans and different adjustments, you know, when needed after a game. You know, next game's always a different game and, you know, a different look. So uh, it's just our job to stay ready. And, you know, when he throws me in, it's, you know, got to get to it. Tremont, Steph, and Clay might be, like, the most resilient trio in a long time, just like their will to never give up kind of thing. I mean, what's that like for you to play alongside them and to see them show up the way that they did it on the brink of elimination? Uh, like Dre said, you know, they're champions. So, you know, everybody's after them all the time. And, you know, they don't want to go out, you know, 4-1 in a, in a series that we know that, you know, it should be a, a fight. So just to have them and, and to know that, you know, with them three, you're never out of a game. Um, it just gives, you know, everybody else just that, that, that urge and that fire, you know, just to dig in, you know. When they have uh, Davis on you and, I mean, your guys' game plan, obviously, is, is to make you the screener. What's your – what do you feel like your job is in those situations? And just give Steph some separation, you know, make him switch, and then uh, get space again and watch him work, and then, you know, cut when needed, and then give him an outlet when he needs it. What, how does it when they they went they switched in the second half uh, they went switch heavy how does that impact I guess the chessboard oh no we just bring AD up if he's not guarding me uh, somebody else whoever he's guarding put him in action set the screen and it was so we can get the switch Gary uh, so how did it how did you feel when you first were told that you were going to be in the starting lineup and then with that how did you adjust your game. Because um, obviously this is, this is a, you're on the big stage and your defense is something that they depend on quite a bit. And how did you just incorporate all of that? And and how are you feeling about just being here doing what you do? Like you said, I'm just doing my job. Uh, when he says I got to start, I just got to do it earlier and then later. So, um, you know, just come out and be myself and, you know, get to it. Uh, there's really no change or nothing. It's just I'm coming in earlier than usual. Hey, Gary, uh, uh, Draymond, you know, he picked up a foul 20 seconds into the game, but he was still chirping with AD. He was still super into it, intense. Uh, uh, does that just kind of spark you guys when you see him out there, just kind of, you know, doing his thing? Uh, as Draymond being Draymond, uh, you know, as long as they don't get crazy, uh, we all got his back and let him talk, uh, try to keep the refs out of it, and, you know, let him do what he does. Gary, in a game that you knew you needed to come out fast, how key was the 17-5 start to get you guys flowing in the right direction? Oh, it was good. Man. Like we've been trying to say, we just trying to got to hit first, hit second, hit third, keep hitting, keep hitting. Um, they're going to make runs, just uh, limit their runs and, you know, uh, maximize ours. And, and like I said, it's a game of runs, so you just try to limit their runs uh, as much as possible. Uh, hey, Gary. I over here, I know you had kind of had a little bit of a, a moment, so to speak, at the beginning of, of game four. <laughs> How are you feeling physically now after playing 27 minutes and uh, you feel like you're ready to rock for game six? No, yeah, I'm good. I just had to, had to throw up a little bit real quick, come right back. It was remind me of school, kind of, you know, you got to rally, so get it out, rally again. I was fine after, so it, it was good. <laughs> hey, Gary. Um, Draymond talked about you guys being aggressive on both ends of the floor and for guys like you and Draymond and Wiggs who are guarding LeBron, D'Lo, the guys you wouldn't really stop. Just, can you try to put into words how much energy it takes to be able to do that on defense and then also do what you have to do on offense? Yeah, it, it, it probably takes quite a bit out of us, but, um, you know, with the adrenaline and, and we know what type of game this is, um, you got to go. So, you know, limit their touches. And then once we get it, um, magically, uh, we find energy on the other end. So we get it. We, we sprint down there and, you know, try to make them work and come down and communicate and talk to each other and, you know, try to make us, a, you know, a unit on the defensive end. So we don't got to, you know, like you said, use, use to so much energy. We can uh, talk to each other and have each other's back. Gary, you said it reminded you of school. I mean, I threw up before every AAU tournament. So, is this was it? Is it nerves? Is it excitement? Um, what? How far back does this go? You said school. Uh, no, no. Game four was just a bad lunch. <laughs> uh, but uh, back to school, you know, we got like beer, beer Olympics and stuff. So, you, you can't fall out early in there. So you got to rally. You got to get it out and come back and rally. So, 
Yeah, just remind me of Oregon State a little bit. Go Bees. Thank, thanks for explaining. <laughs> we good? You guys are great. Have a good night.